In this lesson, we will explore how styles are generated. If you've completed the customization module of the Intermediate WordPress User Learning Pathway, you'll remember that WordPress offers two ways to modify colors, fonts, and layout via the site editor. One is to use global styles, and the other is to use the style book that gives you a visual representation of the block you are modifying. But where do these built-in styles come from and where are they defined? The answer is in a file named theme.json, which is the focus of this lesson. But first, what is theme.json? The theme.json file is used to define the global and block-based styles for your theme. Every visual aspect of every property is there from color and typography to spacing and dimensions. This approach is often referred to as having a single source of truth. In this case, theme.json is the primary file that's responsible for specifying and organizing all the theme's design aspects, making it easier to update, modify, and manage. So where do we find theme.json? In the first lesson of this chapter, we peeked into our site's themes files. Let's return to that page and navigate to Tools and then Theme File Editor. You'll be greeted with a warning message advising you not to make direct edits to your theme. This is only a brief introductory visit, so you can safely hit the I Understand button. In the right sidebar under Theme Files, click on Theme Styles and Block Settings. If you followed the previous lesson, the building blocks of WordPress templates, you might have noticed that theme.json includes mostly JSON a universal data format. JSON represents data in pairs, a key and its value. In this example, we have a buttons block and the keys are the properties of the buttons block. For example, background color, text color, and border radius. And the values are its styles and settings. Let's look at two more examples. In this example, JSON defines a color palette. Each object in the palette array or list represents a color in the palette with the following properties. The hex code, a human readable name for the color, and the slug or a short identifier for the color. In the last example below layout, we will see a key named content size and a value of 620 pixels. And that means the content width of this theme is set to 620 pixels. When you customize a style via the editor, for example, in this case, we're gonna change the content width to 650 pixels, WordPress generates these changes as JSON, ensuring they are rendered into CSS styles that can be displayed properly in the browser. Take a moment to browse around theme.json. Scroll down and search for words that you're familiar with from the editor. For example, words like color, layout, button, border, etc. And note how color, for example, appears numerous times across the file while layout is only specified once. All these properties describe the predefined styles of the theme, as determined by the designers and developers who created it. While you can alter these default styles right in theme.json, it's not the recommended method neither for users nor extenders. Customizing the design via the editor is a more practical and intuitive approach. Going into the specifics of JSON is beyond the scope of this lesson. To continue your journey as a web maker, check out the beginner WordPress developer learning pathway, specifically the global settings and style lesson in the introduction to developing WordPress themes module. So what is next? If you have already made changes to your styles in the site editor, for example, changing the radius of the image block, as in this example, or maybe picking a different color for a block, you won't find these changes in theme.json. That's because these customizations were stored in the database, not the theme files. To understand the difference between the database and theme files, and how you can update the themes theme.json to include your modifications, Check out the module How WordPress Saves Your Content and the lesson Use the Create Block Theme Plugin for Exports and Theme Variations.